Hello, 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 welcome back. Had a week off, but we're back again, back at Headlands. Not in the swim that I want to be in. It's very busy for a Monday. Is it a bank holiday or something? I don't know, but either way, it's really, really busy. I'm not in the swim that I wanted to be in nor am I in my second choice. We just kind of slumped into this one, just so we're kind of evenly spaced out from everybody, but we're in our own little area. This is the swim I have gone for. Uh, last, not last week, because I didn't fish last week, but the week before, in my last video, I was down this end of the lake. Now, I had a lot of people tell me that I was in the wrong swim and just even at the wrong end of the lake, so at least this time I am down the right end. I'm just not in the swim per se, but this little corner looks good. I'm thinking maybe flick one in here, that little situation, and then maybe one in this little situation. That's just going off the bat, off of just knowledge from other lakes. Obviously, if I see something, then we'll drop something in. But I went past the entrance to this little bit because if you can see down there, there is a bridge. And this is like a little off path to the main path that brings you into these like three little swims. Yeah, but I walked past it. So now my barrow is up this very steep hill and I am not going to try and barrow it down with everything on it. Unload the barrow from there and then set up here. I think I'm allowed to fish this swim. There's a boat here. And if anybody needs to use the boat, they won't be able to get to it. But there isn't anywhere that says I can't fish it. So I'm, I'm gonna fish it. not used to it being sunny when I go fishing so I haven't I haven't necessarily prepared for it I'm gonna get the rods out first because uh, I know that annoys a lot of you as well I do read the comments and a lot of you are like really frustrated that I get my bivy up before I get my rods out so let's get the rods out first this time round. I haven't seen anything in terms of like signs or feeding I'm just gonna go with kind of what I know and use knowledge from other lakes just place some rigs with some solid bags on those two spots that i showed you just a minute ago let's do that i have a pod i have a pod i had a delivery come through the other day with some new bits for myself some very much needed bits that is going to help change my fishing completely we do have a pod and it is the fox black label pod she'll show you it once i set it up the other thing i got is i got a halo i got a halo um it's no more powerless sessions no more having to cut sessions short because i can't film them but we're, we're getting sorted guys we're getting sorted Can i just say the, the container container the pouch sleeve bag for this pod is just it's lovely you can tell how like good quality it is get this set up because this is the most important bit i could probably get my bank sticks in here but obviously i want to test my new pod out this is the the base per se with the fox on it there we have my new pod how exciting very slick and very sexy way too hot to have way too hot to have my hair down today guys so there we are no, i haven't got my new alarms guys um still waiting will be september ish that i get those but it's okay it's not a very nice smell going on at the moment i can tell you that for a fact it smells like doo-doo i've ran out of my usual hook bait situation and by that i mean i don't have any 
boilies left. So you know, for the past few weeks, I've been been doing a live system boilie with a live system dumbbell wafter topped. Uh, yeah, I've got no boilies. So we're trying something else this week. I, I think I did read somewhere in a comment that yellow does well down here and I do have some yellow live system pop-ups. So they could do well and I could pop them on my spinners. You're just kind of winging it for the first few, how well, however many times it takes for us to get the grasp of things down here. New lake, new learnings. Well, I was gonna bring my chair with me, but there wasn't enough room in the car, so we're squatting on the floor. Oh, there's an ant on my thigh. As always, we have a spinner. It's just a bear rig, to be honest. I don't have any leads on it. I don't have any hook baits on it. So we're just gonna completely start from scratch. What we do have is some tubing, as always. But yeah, based off of the comments I was getting on my last video, I'm gonna go with a... <laughs> yellow live system pop-up. I'm gonna do that on one of my rods. And then on the other, I'm gonna use the yellow Pacific tuna pop-ups. So we've got both yellows going on, but two different flavours. And then, as always, if we get success on one, then we will change both rods over to that one flavour. I need to get a refresh on my tackle, guys. I'm needing like a complete refresh. I like, I think I said it in my last video, that I like this lake uh, for a lot of reasons. But one being how small, like, and how how many like little nooks and crannies it's got of little swims like you can just tuck yourself away in a little corner all right let's go with the live system first where's my lighter losing it as always so that rig is all prepped and ready to go uh, i've got a two ounce lead on there could definitely get away with having a smaller one but i don't have any smaller ones um so that's what we're going with it's a single pop-up by itself Normally I top them with corn, but I've only got the one corn, so we're going to see how it goes like this first. Um, if it's quiet, then we'll stick a corn on top, see if that adds a bit of extra attraction. Um, but we're going to get a bag made up, because that is what we're doing again this week, some solid bags. We have a solid bag, and we have CC more Live System PBA bag mix. Always leaving some room for some bait booster of course and then as always oh, wrong, wrong scissors always remembering to stab to get the air out and let the water in I've had a few comments about that as well in my last video I can't believe you guys thought that I would just chuck it out and let it float on the surface who do you think I am I was going to do a 48 hour this week, but, well, today, but it's really busy, like literally every other swim is filled, um, I'm not in the place that I want to be in, I think I'm just going to do a 24 hour and then come back maybe in a day, day or two's time, see if it's a bit less busier. I just don't understand how happy I am to not have to use these again, they are <coughs> shocking. Surprisingly, I didn't get any grief about the way I do my solid bags. A lot of you actually said that you were going to give it a go yourself, so you're welcome. I'm going to put this one on the left hand side of the pod and I'm going to flicker over towards this willow tree. Put it in this little gap between the bank itself and this willow tree. Um, fingers crossed for that one. Now let's get the other one sort of sorted out. Rig number two is again, as always, a spinner. This time we're going to use Pacific Tuna. Do it exactly the same way. We're going to put it just on the rig by itself with a solid bag and we'll see if that can tempt anything. If not, we'll shove it up a little bit same again solid bag it is so warm guys like so 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 warm it's a shame you're not allowed to surface fish here because i feel like you definitely could get some success today now that one is ready to go as well 
quickest setup ever. No, it's not. I didn't have a lead on that one. That would have been very bad. Now both of the rods are out in their new pod. Oh, don't that, doesn't that look so much better than my old bank sticks? I really can't see because of the sun, but I've put it in like semi open water because um, I hug the margins too often. I know I do. But yeah, we'll just try a different, a few different spots in this area. Obviously, sit on each one for a good hour or two, you know, and give it the chance to feed. But that's the rods out. But it's time to clean this mess up and get the bibby out. Fingers crossed. <laughs> go all set up ready to go a nice little setup today I feel I feel really nice and tucked away in my own little area which is lovely this is the view obviously I had to get the windows open it's absolutely roasting they look good really nice pod guys highly highly recommend now it's just a case of chilling waiting praying just keeping on top of the bait I suppose um, I'm really limited for bait I've struggled to get bait so that's why I've only got kind of my PVA bag mix otherwise I would be kind of I'd be doing a, a boily tactic but I've only got the bags at the moment so I am gonna have to bring the rods in every kind of hour or so to rebait I can put a fresh bag on but it's okay doesn't matter we'll do anything to keep on top of them won't we so you know i'm like what the hell is that ignore that so you know i'm never prepared on the food section of things i am this time i'm not prepared on my drink section like this is how much i've got and i'm here for a 24 it was meant to be a 48 so that would have never have been happening we have a bag of goodies obviously i wanted to bring enough food in case i did decide to stay for a 48 the fact i haven't got enough drink i could go to the coffee shop they've got like a coffee coffee house farmhouse it's just not, it's left my head they've got a little section down there where you can get some food and drinks and whatnot the reason i have a big bottles of dr pepper and not the little cans or the small bottles is because I'm a thirsty gal. I drink a lot. I'd be going backwards and forwards every five minutes for a Coke, so it's not worth it. But shall we see what I do have? So to start off with, we have the utensils, as in saucepan, cooker, and gas, and washing up liquid. So we could have done some washing up. Don't need to do that anymore. And then we have a bachelor's pasta and sauce, cheese and broccoli. Then we have four packets of crisp, flame grilled steak, cheese and onion squares. Honestly, the best crisps. Like if you're willingly picking up a packet of like walkers, like ready salted walkers or just plain walkers, then Oreos digestive slice thing blue riband classic a tin of spaghetti see this is what i'm actually really excited for normally it's the pasta but i don't have any cheese to put on top of the pasta that can get gone i'm gonna have this in a minute or two once after i've redone the rods with their new bags i'm gonna I'm gonna do it because I really don't feel confident at all. I think it's a mixture, obviously, because it's the it's the, only the second time that I've ever fished this lake. I don't know anything about it, of course, and I'm using solid bags, which is something that I have used in the past and I have had a lot of success on. Like I've had my first twenty and stuff like that off of using this tactic, but I've gone off of that and started using my just single like couple handful of boilies hours freebies so i don't know i'm not feeling as confident that's given given the circumstances but 
that's my food bag and I have a bag of sweets that I stole from my dad's wedding at the weekend it's about 10 past 7 now I'm just gonna get myself sorted put everything out because I'm, I'm such a messy setter upper and then yeah we'll put some fresh bags on I'm gonna put a bit more bait booster in than I normally am just because liquid always gives me a bit of confidence I think I'm gonna have to move that right hand rod now because I have got some neighbors now um, and it's not that it's in their swim but if they want to go left a little bit they they can't so I'm gonna bring that one in flick it out probably just in front of me new bag time like I was saying earlier I'm gonna put a bit more liquid in it this time I'm gonna fill it up about a quarter get the liquid put some in add some more bait and then like normal add some on top oh that was way too much way too much way too much juggle to close that now well 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 should be all right actually oh my god no actually <laughs> don't overfill your bags guys otherwise you'll end up in this situation that's all right We've done it. It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. <laughs> it's probably the worst bag I've ever made. And I'm not going to show you for the sake of... I know you'll all laugh at it. But as long as it sits right, casts right, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter now, does it? Right, let's get this one out. Let's hope we can make this bag a bit better, eh? It was fine, to be fair, it cast nicer than the other one did, so... I keep getting scared, because were... I'm scared that I'm going to get bit by a hornet now. Put me zap her on. That's not dark, but... Fly to it. Mosquitoes, fly. I don't know why, but I feel like my confidence has just risen. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. But I feel like my confidence has risen just a little bit. My mind, yeah, is honestly something else. I put that rod back on the spot next to the willow tree in the margin, that kind of little gap itself. I've put it closer to the margin than more, more than, put it closer to the margin other, rather than, rather than the middle. And this is the one that I'm having to move because there is people. Clearly it wasn't in their way because they've had their rods in the water, but you know. If they catch, you don't want to be getting snagged up in people's lines now, do we? Tiny, tiny bit. That would do. It's nowhere near as glugged up as the other one is, was. But every little bit counts. Helps. Every little bit helps, every little bit counts. You know what I mean. Haven't seen anything yet. I haven't seen anything the whole time I've been here, really. Yeah, that one was a bit better, but it was it's not as good as the others. I think it's when I put liquid in the top, I get a wrinkly bag. Because we shall not waste to get this one out. Sorted. Back out for the next hour and a half, two hours. That's one thing I am stuck on, guys. When using solid bags, how often do you bring them in and redo the bags? I've, ha I've heard a mixture between 45 minutes, an hour and two hours. Um, I haven't used bags for a long enough period to be able to make up my own mind. So I'm kind of just winging it like I do with everything in my fishing because it's not like I'm Mrs. Know-it-all now, is it? Yeah, now guys, I'm just going to chill. Chill, 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 chill. You know how it is. Sit back, relax, stick YouTube on. Oh, I'm going to make me spaghetti in a minute. And we just pray, pray, pray that we get a bite. Let's make our, oh, I got it. Let's make our spaghetti, spaghetti. I just heard a very big splash. Mm, here, <laughs> don't know why I'm just pointing it to you. So you've got the tree here, and then you've got this margin, this bit of water just here fish just crashed and that's the first signage I've seen, heard 
just spoke to the owner, Alex, and um, he did say that that is a good spot. But with these bushes, I can't really get my rod round there. We'll figure out if we can do that in a minute. Not do that, but we'll see if we can get it at least a little bit round there. But for now, let's get cooking. This is going to be very quick, very easy, just how I like it. When I first started fishing, doing overnighters, 24s, 72s and whatnot, I used to cook like proper meals like burgers, spag bowl, I've done the lot on the bank but as it time's gone on I've gotten gotten lazy, I can't really be bothered to cook, I always end up starving myself when I go night fishing but we're going to change that, we're going to start cooking again. Put some suggestions in the comments of what you'd like to see me cook because I am, if I do say myself, I am a good cook. I really hope that I can get a rod round there because that was a good sign. I'm not far from it, but I'm far enough for them to be able to ignore it, if that makes sense. Looking scrummy next to the holy grails. Dinner. It's served back in the bivvy now to eat me scooter, me scary scooter. It's getting dark now, so turn the light on. But I'm glad we've actually successfully cooked something on the bank to eat together. Isn't that nice? Huh. I'm going to sit here, eat this now put some more bags on, try and get it around that corner if I can. And then bedtime maybe. Right, so I've made two new bags. Both are ten times better than the last two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the left hand rod round, not, I'm not going to put it around the corner because otherwise my line would be going through the bushes in the margins, but I'm going to put it around there slightly a bit more I would show you but it's really hard filming by myself when it's dark but that's what I'm going to do with that one and then I'm going to move the right hand rod to where the left hand rod is now do a little shifty shift I would film guys but it is a struggle when it's dark gotta get myself a little stand up light but yeah that's what we're gonna do and then might be bedtime guys I'm very tired right got all with that sorted both of them in i literally got the left hand one round that corner just as far as i could get it if it was any further round then my line would be going through the bush but <coughs> we done it i'll check them well not check them i'll bring them in in another two hours if i'm still awake if not good night because that'll be it if not um hopefully we get one in the night would be really really nice hopefully i wake up to it because obviously i haven't got a receiver i've only got my delks but i'm gonna have to set them quite loud sorry to the neighbors but it is what it is we'll just keep repeating 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 and fingers crossed we can have one fingers crossed good morning very late start as always i'm very very tired because of the party and weekend that I had normally drink and I did a lot of drinking on the weekend for my dad's wedding so very tired girl but I've noticed I've not got any neighbours anymore and I don't think that there's anybody on the swim that I originally wanted to go on so if that's the case then we're gonna move they are still there right so essentially if I spin you round yeah so there's there is a swim just here which gives you all of the water out in front of the lodges. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, but there are three lakeside lodges here at Headlands that you can stay at and fish from. So there's one there that you can see. They are really big and really nice from what I've seen from the outside. But that bank doesn't really get fished a lot for obvious reasons. So this swim's a good old swim because you can actually cast all the way across to that bank. And obviously you've got this island here as well so it is a very good swim but it is still occupied today so that's fine in that case then i think i am just gonna do the 24 today leave today at about five um and then come back down 
on Thursday and do another 24 on Thursday. Hopefully we can get in down there. Now we've got this hole stretched to ourselves, we can we can move our rigs up and down it now. We're not limited just to our one little area. What I am gonna do, so with my rods, I'm gonna leave, well, I'm gonna bring them both in, put some fresh bait on them, obviously, but I am gonna put the left hand rod back where it's been all night in that spot down to the side of the willow tree in the bank, just so I can try and nab one of the ones that I was hearing crashing last night. And then my right hand one, the one that's kind of been moving backwards and forwards anyway. I'm going to bring it, I'm going to put it in this close margin, literally to the right of me in this margin. It's, I don't ever fish like that. I, I fish margins a lot, like I'm very comfortable with fishing margins, but it will always be the far margin. Now, where I haven't got anybody, like I haven't got any neighbours anymore, I could get this rig down in front of that swim near enough, like touching it touching the margin of that swim and it could be a good little spot because again if you think it, it doesn't get fish that, that them side of the banks it doesn't doesn't get a rig placed in it very often so we could always give it a go and you never know it could work and one thing I am going to do also is I'm going to steer away from my solid bags I am still going to put one on the left hand rod that's getting flipped down near the willow tree um, because I can't accurately bait on top of that one but now that I'm putting this right hand one in the margin next to me, I'm able just to trickle some bait over the top of that. So I'm just gonna leave that by itself. Um, see if my solid bags are causing issues. They might be causing issues. They haven't down Longbridge. They work down Longbridge this way, but again, it's a different lake. I don't actually know what the bottom's like. I think it's a little bit silty by the way that I'm pulling my lead back. Just going almost. Let's get on with that then. Let's make that bag for the, for the left hand rod, flick that back out and figure out where we're going to put the right hand rod. So I'm really excited, right? Next time I come down here, I should have a bit more money, a bit more spending money. And I'm going to get a breakfast next time. Like I was saying yesterday, they have like a little, I cannot get in to this solid bag. Are you being cereal? There we go, got into that one. Yeah, like I was saying yesterday, they have like a, a coffee a coffee house. I want to get the name right. I think it's a coffee house, but you know, like a little clubhouse uh, where you can get coffees, wines, cokes, breakfasts, dinners. I don't know if you guys have heard of, if you haven't, then get to know, the Go Catch app. Um, the Go Catch app is absolutely brilliant and I use it to check availability all the time and just to find new fisheries around to be honest um because there's a lot on there that you'd be surprised that you can't even really find on maps when you book through the go catch app you can actually there's actually an option to book a session with a breakfast and a dinner included i think that's absolutely amazing so you could just come down here start fishing or oh, also have a breakfast and a dinner i mean why are you coming from that end what, what more could you ask for but yeah, I'm so shocked that I haven't been here before now. Uh, well, before the last time that I was here, obviously, because it's so nice down here. The actual like complex itself and the facilities, lovely, absolutely lovely. I'm not getting paid to say this, by the way. And the lake, like I was saying in my other video, it's got so many little nooks and crannies and I love that. I love a little nook and cranny lake. Right, so I got both of them out. Had a little bit of trouble with my left hand one. I was overcasting a bite a lot. I've put it here, just behind this bushness in front of the willow tree. The right hand one I have dropped. I'm stood on this little situation. I've dropped it just in front of this lavender tree right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some bait. And I'm just going to put some in over the top of there with my hands. Well, now they're all set up, baited up, ready to go for today. Going to need some sunglasses. I was able to get a lot more bait on that right hand rod, obviously, where I was able just to chuck it on top and put about five small handfuls on. 
fingers crossed i don't want to blank twice in a row i mean it's a given considering it's like the first two times we fish in this lake at all so it's been about an hour since i last spoke to you and of course we've had nothing i'm gonna give it another half an hour 45 minutes and then i'll do some more bait but quiet stuff quiet stuff i'm gonna bring them in and redo them now i'm gonna change the hook baits obviously i've had both the yellows on oh no i've been bit change the hook baits over and put a dumbbell live system on and then the other i'm gonna put a pacific tuna wafter topped with a imitation sweet corn a little imitation sweet corn there we go and i've put it on long ways just because i prefer the way that it sits by itself like so that's that one dead of putting the bag on it i'm just going to chuck it over the top not the bag i'm going to chuck the bait over the top i'm going to bring this one a little bit closer in just so i can put the bait over the top and just test if it is the bags that's called cool causing us not to catch all right so i've put that one out put some bait over the top now i'm going to change this one over to the pacific tuna topped with corn i really need to get a bucket so i can test my presentation but it's hard you know there is rig number two ready to go i'm gonna do the exact same flip that out i'm gonna flick it out towards the other bank in, a little, in the little crevice that i had it in originally before my neighbors turned up yesterday we play the waiting game as we always do i think i built my pod the wrong way round after getting a few messages on Instagram from my story, I've built it the wrong way around and now looking at it, I have built it the wrong way around. I don't know how the hell I have done that and how I have not realised that I've done that. It's it's completely the wrong way around. Like, if you see, my butts are wider than my tips, which shouldn't be the case i mean it's not it doesn't affect the use i mean they're still sat there securely but it's yeah that's not the way that the pod is supposed to be so that's great but one when i when i bring them in next i'll switch it around but yeah what the hell of course i would do that wouldn't i it is so hot like so hot it's nearing on 25 degrees <sighs> I'm beginning to think it's way too hot for the feed to be fishing at the moment. I don't know. It's so quiet. I've had not a single beep, not a single noise from the alarms. The only bit of signs I saw was last night, them crashing. Don't know. I'm starting to maybe think about coming tomorrow when it's not as hot. Cause I'm hot. And as we established yesterday, I didn't get another drink and this is how much i have left i'm rationing myself one of them days one of them days good news is you guys will have two videos from me maybe three actually videos from me this week where i didn't give you guys one last week i feel it's only it's only due and obviously where i didn't go fishing last week i'm going to be getting a lot in this week before i start my new job yeah i don't know we'll see i'll see how the next hour goes um play it by ear it's just getting hotter and hotter and hotter it is scorching it is a scorcher i still haven't changed my pod round <laughs> it's way too hot for me and for the fish um it's i don't think i'm going to be successful no matter how much i know the lake or not know the lake i'm gonna go home I haven't got any drink left i'm thirsty i'm hot and I'm hungry, actually. I, want, I would have my pasta, but I ain't got no cheese to go on top. You can't have pasta with no cheese, man. Yeah, I'm going to go home, and then I'm going to come back on Thursday and do a session then. So I will get two videos out for you this week. But yeah, I'm just going to have to cut this one short because it is too hot. It's too hot to fish, especially at a place that I can't surface fish. Like, if I could surface fish, then I'd get out the surface fish rod, and I'd start doing that. But I'm not allowed to surface fish here, so... Gonna go on home.
packed up, ready to go. Very happy to got back out again and very excited to get back out again when it's a little bit cooler. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Won't be the only one this week, so make sure you're subscribed, have that notification bell turned on, and I'll see you next time. Bye.